hard time to show up to a long way off, but how is the team dealing it with it and working together to... Well, I think that, uh, you know, the greatest thing that the team has is the team itself. And uh, there's a strength there that is, I think, special. And uh, I think our, all of our, all, you know, and then the, the surrounding team, the university has, has reached out in many ways to provide support in any way that these guys need. And it started, you know, I was out of town and uh, started with our athletic director, Bob DeCaro, is basically gathering any and all support that we could get right within our community to put their arms around our team. And, uh, and that was, uh, you know, both it's devastating and both it makes you feel good about the community we have here because you, in, in tough times, you find out a lot about the people that you're with. And, uh, you know, and, and that was, it was neat and comforting for all of us to see how people reached out to help. Coach, hey, Coach um, what becomes of number 92 now for the program? Well, for us right now, I don't know that we've made any big decisions about what we're going to do with it, but we will, you know, like I said, we will never, ever forget Fred and what he brought to us, and we will do something for Fred, you know, to remember in this upcoming season. I think that the number 92 would be a great way to commemorate it, but I also think simply Fred is also a great way to commemorate Fred Thompson because that's what everybody knew him as and loved him as at this point because he was young in his career and, and uh, but uh, everybody knows Fred and, and you know we will we, we will always remember what he gave us and we will find a way in the upcoming years to commemorate his his time here at Oregon State and his time for his family because this connection for his family at Oregon State now is a lifelong thing too. You know, he, never, he never actually played on the field, but he, can you talk about his impact that he had on the team? Well, Fred was, uh, you know, like a lot of our young guys, he was in the middle of, of or in the, young, in the early stages really of his development as a player. And, uh, you know, the, the, one of the least important things probably we're talking about is the football end of it, but Fred was an exciting prospect. He had a ton of talent, and uh, I was very, very excited about his future. There's no doubt about that. The impact that he had on his teammates and that kind of thing was... Well, Fred's impact on his teammates was really because of who he was as a guy. He was truly... I think as it as was brought up today, he, uh, he lifted up everybody with his spirit. He was a fun, fun guy. And, and uh, if you had something serious to talk to Fred about, you could not stay at him, mad at him for very long. It was impossible. Uh, and, and so, you know, it was just in his personality and in his character to basically be a good guy. There was a, I got a really neat email from a guy that just happened to meet Fred. Uh, at a store outside of the stadium in San Francisco when we played down there this year. And uh, they had a conversation about a hat that this guy was going to buy. And Fred just mentioned to him, hey, I like that, I like that hat. And so they, they started a conversation. And that was this guy's initial, initial uh, impression of Fred Thompson. What a neat young guy just to kind of start a conversation with him. And uh, that's what he did with everybody. I mean, he was truly loved by all, and, uh, and he loved everybody. I mean, so it just was a two-way street. Thanks, man. Thank you.